Hi, welcome to Sunil Maths Tutorial. Functional Analysis Class Number 11. In this video, we learn a theorem and we solve a problem. Let us see the statement of the theorem. If capital M is a closed linear subspace of a normed linear space capital N and capital T is the natural mapping of capital N into N by M defined by T of X is equals to X plus M for all X belongs to capital M then capital T is a linear capital T is a continuous linear transformation for which norm T less than or equals to 1 so right we prove this theorem so in the statement we have in the statement they given that they given that capital N is a normed linear space. Capital N is a normed linear space. And capital M is a closed subspace. Closed subspace of capital N. Also they given that also they given that capital T maps N into the quotient space n by m and it is defined by it is defined by t of x is equals to x plus m for all x belongs to capital n x plus m for all x belongs to capital n we have to prove that we have to prove that there are three points you have to prove capital t is a linear transformation the second point capital T is continuous capital T is continuous and in the third condition you have to show that norm T less than or equals to 1. So this is the analysis of statement they given that capital N is a normed linear space N is a normed linear space and M is a closed subspace of N M is a closed subspace of N and T is a mapping from capital N into the quotient space N by M defined by the equation T of X is equals to X plus M for all X belongs to capital N. Now you have to prove that three conditions capital T is a linear transformation and T is continuous norm T is less than or equals to 1. So we show one by one the very first one to prove that to show that or to prove that capital T is a linear transformation capital T is a linear transformation our aim is to show that T is a linear transformation so right to prove this let us take two elements x comma y belongs to capital N and two scalars alpha comma beta belongs to field capital F by the definition of normal linear space N is a near linear space linear space means it is a vector space so obviously alpha x plus beta y alpha x plus beta y belongs to capital n because because capital n is a linear space linear space means it is a vector space so alpha x plus beta y belongs to capital n now we calculate t of alpha x plus beta y by the definition of t you observe that t of x is equals to t of x is equals to x plus m so t of alpha x plus beta y t of alpha x plus beta y is equals to alpha x plus beta y plus capital m now by applying the definition of addition of cosets applying the definition of addition of cosets you can write like this alpha x plus m plus beta y plus m right by the definition of scalar multiplication by the definition of scalar multiplication of cosets we can write alpha into x plus m plus beta into y plus m again use this definition what is that t of x is equals to x plus m t of x is equals to x plus m so this alpha x this alpha into x plus m means t of x and beta into y plus m means t of y therefore we prove that condition 
t of alpha x plus beta y is equals to alpha into t of x plus beta into t of y for all x comma y belongs to capital N and alpha comma beta belongs to the field capital F. This condition shows us capital T this condition shows us capital T is a linear transformation capital T is a linear transformation that's it capital T is a linear transformation right in the second condition we prove that T is continuous the second point to prove that capital T is to prove that capital T is continuous we prove that capital T is continuous so right we have by the definition we have since t of x is equals to x plus m now calculate norm t of x norm t of x is equals to norm x plus m by the definition of norm of a continuous linear transformation it can be written as supremum of norm x plus m small m i right where small m belongs to capital m which is less than or equals to norm x plus small m norm x plus small m in particular in particular if m is equals to 0 what happens in particular if m is equals to 0 or for m is equals to 0 which belongs to capital m we have norm t of x is less than or equals to norm x norm t of x is less than or equals to norm x so you can write like this norm t of x is less than or equals to k into norm x for k is equals to 1 for k is equals to 1 this condition this condition implies as capital t is bounded capital t is bounded already we learned that every bounded linear transformation is continuous therefore capital t is continuous linear transformation capital t is continuous linear transformation we prove the second one also now we go for third one by the definition of third condition by definition of by definition of norm of a continuous linear transformation by definition of norm of continuous or bounded linear transformation we have let us write the definition norm t already we learned this definition in the previous video norm t is equals to supremum of norm t of x such that norm x less than or equals to 1 so which is less than or equals to supremum of because it is less than or equals to norm x so norm x such that norm x less than or equals to 1 this is nothing but 1 therefore norm t is less than or equals to 1 norm t is less than or equals to 1 this proves the every property of the condition theorem here we use this this step this step norm t of x is less than or equals to norm x because of this one norm t of x is less than or equals to norm x so you observe that one of the important theorem for five marks remember that now we solve a problem according to the uh, these properties let us see that problem capital t is a linear transformation or continuous linear transformation of a normal linear space capital n into another normal linear space n dash if m is its null space it means capital m is the null space of capital t then show that capital t induces a natural linear transformation t dash of n by m into n dash and also that condition norm t dash is equals to norm t it means the induced linear transformation is equal to the linear transformation t so we write the introduction part they given that capital n and n dash both are both are normed linear spaces both are normed linear spaces both are normed linear spaces and capital t maps n into n dash capital t maps n into n dash be a continuous linear transformation be a continuous linear transformation so right now define one more mapping now define a mapping that maps pi 
capital N into N by M as pi of x is equals to x plus M. Pi of x is equals to x plus M where small pi of x is equals to you can write small m pi of x is equals to x plus m where small m belongs to capital M. And here this capital M is null space. There here capital M is null space. Null space of capital T. So right. Again we define. Again we define one more term. Again we define we define t dash as n by m into capital n dash such that t dash of x plus m is equals to t of x here you observe that how we define this is important point here in this theorem this is the important point in this theorem now see we define t dash we define t dash from n by m from n by m to n dash such that t dash of x plus m is equals to t of x for all x plus m belongs to n by m we can prove that t dash is induced by t is a linear transformation so our aim is to prove that we have to prove that capital t dash is a linear transformation to prove that it is a linear transformation let us take two elements x plus let us take two elements x plus m comma y plus m belongs to n by m now addition of cosets x plus m plus y plus m is equals to x plus y plus m which belongs to n by m which belongs to n by m now we calculate t dash of t dash of x plus m plus y plus m t dash of x plus m plus y plus m is equals to t dash of x plus y plus m t dash of x plus y plus m by the definition of t dash by the definition of t dash we define t dash of x plus m here you observe that t dash of x plus m t dash of x plus m is equals to t of x so applying the same definition here this step becomes t of x plus y t dash of x plus y plus m becomes simply t of x plus y t of x plus y and t is a linear transformation you can write t of x plus t of y it can be written as t dash of x plus m plus t dash of y plus m therefore finally we conclude that therefore we conclude that t dash of x plus m plus y plus m is equals to t dash of x plus m plus t dash of y plus m this is the first property of linear transformation now let us take a scalar let us take a scalar alpha belongs to capital f and alpha into x plus m is equals to alpha x plus m this is nothing but the scalar multiplication property of cosets now calculate t dash of alpha x plus m is equals to t of alpha x plus capital M applying the definition I mean applying the definition t dash of alpha x plus m I'm sorry here I write the same step again t dash of alpha x plus m is equals to t of alpha x and t is a linear transformation you can write you can write alpha into you can write alpha into t of x because t is a linear transformation which is equals to alpha into t dash of x plus m therefore we prove the condition t dash of alpha x plus m is equals to alpha into t dash of x plus m hence from these two conditions here it is the first one here it is the first one here it is the two from conditions one and two from conditions one and two we conclude that capital t dash is a linear transformation capital t dash is a linear transformation further you have to show that in the same problem you have to prove that further you have to prove that norm t dash is equals to norm t 
norm t dash is equals to norm t so already by apply the definition of norm t dash now norm t dash is equals to supremum of supremum of norm t dash of x plus m such that norm x plus m is less than or equals to 1 this is the definition of continuous linear transformation this is nothing but supremum of norm t of x norm t of x such that norm x plus m is less than or equals to 1 norm x plus m is less than or equals to 1 since capital m is the null space by data this m is the null space null space of capital t if it is the null space of capital t then obviously t of m is equals to 0 t of m is equal to 0 remember that because it is a null space of t then t of m is equals to 0 now you can write norm t dash is equals to supremum of supremum of norm t of x plus m norm t of x plus m such that norm x plus m is less than or equals to 1 it can be written as supremum of norm t of x plus t of m such that norm x plus m less than or equals to 1 which is nothing but supremum of supremum of oh i write directly that one so right here it is here it is i i write directly that one no need to step no need to write this step no need to write this step so you simply go through with the first step that's it which is equals to which is equals to supremum of supremum of norm t of y such that norm y less than or equals to 1 where y is equals to x plus m which belongs to capital n by m which belongs to capital n by m this is nothing but norm t this is nothing but norm t therefore we conclude that norm t dash is equals to norm t this completes the solution that's it keep learning wish you all the best and this problem is important for your five mark section observe that keep learning wish you all the best